Sea run cutthroat. I love these fish. They're so much fun. They're they're tough to they're tough to find. So I'm gonna talk briefly. Uh, some people only know sea run cutthroat. What is this? Oh, this has got uh, it's gonna have oval rib, uh, red and yellow body. It's gonna have a black hackle and a uh, flash of blue wing. So a lot of people only know sea run cutthroat when they are way up river uh, in our coastal streams uh, feeding on eggs behind spawning salmon. And that's great and they will they will congregate there and they are vulnerable. Man, you use an indicator and a little egg pattern. Um, Sea runs will eat those up. They they will and, and they'll eat eggs until they puke them. You'll catch one of those fish and you'll go to release it. Well, summer steelhead do the same thing too. So they get up in there behind the spawning salmon. You'll be trying to release a fish and you look at them and they're just puking eggs. Um, these flies are not used at that time. These flies are used down in the very low reaches of these streams. I need a little bit more dubbing there. The lower reaches, first two, three miles of the coastal streams, upper tide water. Those fish will come in uh, anywhere from now, which is July, uh, clear through October, and they'll kind of hole up down there. And they will, um, they're so much fun. You look for ledge cover, um, logs in the water. Water's not too, you don't want water 12 feet deep, although I'm sure there's fish in it. Black hackle coming. Oh, I'm going to get the wing on first. Um, they're ambush predators. So if you've got, uh, water that goes from a foot deep to four feet deep right at that drop off oh boy sea runs love to lurk in places like that they love ledges they love maybe you don't have a drop off maybe the water's just three or four feet deep but there are some sticks and some logs or some boulders laying on the bottom in that area. That is such sea run territory. Um, and as ambush predators, they're so much fun because you throw one of these flies out there and you twitch it back towards you, you retrieve it, and sometimes they'll follow it. Um, just like a shark. Just dun 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 dun. They're following it, following it, following it. Sometimes they'll turn away. Sometimes they'll take it right at the boat. Now this hackle is twisting on me. I'm going to pretend it is. I'm going to see if I can salvage this. I'm going to tie it off. Reverse spider style. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be reverse spider style. And I don't know how to do a half reverse spider style, so I'm just going to grab all of that. Again, this is realistic fly tying. Wind it back. Well, I'll tell you what, this wing is really going to pulse in the water. How's that? And I, for, for wing material, this Mirage Flash Boot, I only use about four strands. That's plenty. It's very flashy stuff. And I didn't really quite get my foot finish right, so I'm going to put a couple more strands there. And I see a wild hackle sticking out there, so let's see if we can take care of him. I can almost see it. There we go. Dynamite colors, red, yellow, black, dub body, size 8. There you go.